Yo, what's going on guys? Welcome back to Modern Mining. Today I've got a quick update here. So in the last video, we built two of these little budget rigs and actually ended the video with only one of them working. Well, there has been some uh, fixes that have occurred. So what ended up happening there is it wasn't a CPU issue like I thought in the prior video, it was actually a motherboard issue. So I did go ahead and get a new motherboard in and um, that fixed the issue, still a Ryzen 2600 in there. And since I went ahead and ordered an extra Ryzen 2600 anyway, I now have an extra CPU, which uh, of course means I gotta build another salad rig if I got an extra CPU sitting around. So I'll talk about this shortly, but I've got a monster Uber beast rig that's gonna be built soon. I'll talk about that in a bit. Um, but you also notice so along with a different motherboard since the last video, we also have a different GPU. And uh, this GPU right here is a 3090. I got an insane deal on this. It also has, you can see in there, um, 64 gigabytes of RAM. So I got this 3090 for, uh, let's see, $600, but it came with those two RGB sticks of RAM, which the guy has set to basically the same color as the car. That's kind of cool. Um, he gave me the RAM for free if I bought the 3090 for $600, which in my opinion is an absolute steal since um, I need more and more DDR4 RAM. Um, that's basically a perfect deal for me. So I did buy another 3090. So now my salad cards are 3070, 3090, 4090, 3090, 3070, 3080, sneak peek, 4090. Yep, I bought another one and I got this one for $1,400. I've been finding some absolute steals of deals. $2,000 for a 4090 and a 3090. That's pretty damn hard to beat. Um, I've been putting a lot of investment into salad. I think I'm about $6,000 invested when you put into account uh, the 3090 I got scammed on, that 3090, that 3090, that 4090, and that 4090 over there. About $6,000 invested. So I definitely need to be selling more of my GPUs. These 12 will stay, but that rig that I took apart, um, I still need to sell those. So let me know guys, does, if anyone wants 3070s or 3060 Ti's from me, shoot me an email, Modern Mining Hub, and um, we can work out a good deal for those. So what do I want to do today? Well, now that I've got a ton of salad rigs, I maxed out my switch here. And um, I've went ahead with the process of installing Chrome Remote Desktop on a few of these rigs. I think I've got it on that one and that one, um, but I need to do it on some others. We also have a salad update that we need to run. And unfortunately, my damn internet dropped today and I lost six jobs. I, all of my rigs were active and I lost all of them for like a couple minute internet drop. Very pissed at my ISP for that. Um, but it actually kind of works out somewhat perfect because now um, I can get all these rigs updated before they find new jobs. So yeah, you can see right here, um, I need to start installing the update. So we're going to update them, get remote desktop installed. And then I also wanna to try to maybe reduce the power limit with MSI Afterburner. Um, I did do that on this rig and I'm curious to check if this is airing out since I set it to 80%. So after a quick word from our sponsor, let's get into it. Today's video is sponsored by Via BTC. Via BTC has been a leading global blockchain service provider since 2016 with some of the largest mining pools for the most profitable coins. Via BTC has a very active X account as well as a Telegram account with over 10,000 members. Be sure to check those out. Via BTC supports merge mining Litecoin with seven other coins. The list is constantly growing and there's a reason they're the largest pool for Litecoin. They also support auto withdrawals, which makes mining setup as easy as just setting it and forgetting it and getting your coins when they're ready. Via BTC is also rolling out a new crypto loans platform available on their website. So if you're interested in signing up to Via BTC pool today, I will have my referral link down below. You get a little special benefits if you're a new member. Check them out today, guys, and make sure to do your own research before signing up for crypto services and products. Let's get back to the main video. So uh, all of these rigs besides the new one, I can access on that monitor just with my switch, but I do want to go ahead and install uh, Chrome remote desktop on this PC right here so that I can remote into that other one. Um, and I guess I could install it on any of the rigs and just do it on that PC. 
Um, maybe that's what I'll do, but might as well get it on here too. So let's do that first. So here you can see right here, I lost all my salad jobs. And unfortunately I had some pretty good ones. So my 3090 was have, having one of those insane jobs again, where it was making like $5 a day with zero power cost. My 4090 was doing pretty good at one hour. It was almost making 30 cents. Um, and then uh, my other card had just popped back up and then everything dropped. So my 4090 is back on right now. Um, I may not need to restart that one because I believe it's already updated, but we'll check. So let's get remote desktop installed on here. And then the first thing I wanna check is remote into this rig and see this one I already set to the 80% in MSI Afterburner. Did that break anything? Um, and then uh, we should be good to restart this one because I already updated it last night when I put the 3090 on. All right, so as you can see here, I've got the power limit set to 80%. And this should boot up every time uh, Windows logs in, so it should automatically do that. And from what I've heard, if you set it too low, it'll say degraded, and I don't see that. Granted, I don't have a job yet, but this rig does not need to be rebooted uh, or um, updated and rebooted. It's already good to go. And notice the chopping power is set to five out of five. I have changed my mind on the bandwidth sharing, or at least I'm going to test it. From what I've heard, bandwidth sharing, if you can get it to work properly and it doesn't break like your Netflix or Hulu, um, it can sometimes make on its own like two to three X what a container job will make. So it can have some insane rewards. Now the downside, for those who don't know what I'm talking about with Netflix and Hulu, is the last time I had it enabled, my Hulu wasn't even letting me play video because it was saying that I was a VPN hoster. Um, and that was because of salads bandwidth sharing. So I'm gonna let it run. We got it turned on on that rig, that rig, and off camera, I was messing around with this one. I've got it set up on that one now too. And that one's been updated. So if it does happen again where I can't use my Netflix, I'm gonna play with some settings and stuff to see if I can get that working. Um, but that's the other change I've made. So, okay, um, these three are good. Now let's look at these two and that one. Um, and we can do it on this PC here and get those all updated. So I want to go ahead and put this on, this is five, this is four, let's put this on three. And then I need to move my USB dongle up here. And we'll start working on this one um, while I chat with you guys. So I mentioned that I got a new motherboard on this rig um, and I didn't get the kind of budget motherboards that I've been getting that only have two RAM slots because something that I've been learning over the last few days is that RAM is incredibly important for your 3090 and your 4090 rigs. Um, basically you need at a minimum, I would say 96 gigs of RAM um, and 128 is even good too. I've seen people who have pulled up um, their kind of specs and they're constantly using like over a hundred gigs of RAM when they have really good expensive container jobs. So that's something that I'm starting to buy four slot motherboards, which I think will be helpful in that regard. Um, now that this is installed, uh, let's enable bandwidth sharing here. Enable bandwidth, there we go. And once you enable bandwidth, you should have that star chef setting because you've got five out of five things turned on. So this one, we also need to install remote desktop on, um, and we also need to download MSI Afterburner. Now, the one thing with um, remote desktop is you do not want to log into it when you have a job. Um, when you don't have a job, which would be the time you need to remote into it, it's fine. Uh, but when you do have a job, you want to not log into it, or you could potentially lose your job. So. Um, still better than not having a way to get into it. I actually just got back from vacation where only two of my rigs were running the whole time because I didn't set up remote desktop before I went, which was stupid. I should have definitely done it beforehand. And make sure you unclick Norton 360 for gamers. That's basically malware at this point. You don't need to install the Rivet Tuner. You don't need to do that. 
So to set this, you just wanna take your power limit and 80 should be a safe number, I think for basically any card. Uh, I haven't gotten any errors from this yet. Um, so check it and let me know if you get an error too and then I'll save it to position one and then I'll make sure that I hit that um, startup flag up here that's going to hopefully apply that position one um, when it boots up. So there's that. Now uh, I'll finish up remote desktop off camera. It does look like there is a new NVIDIA driver too, so I'm just gonna install this on all the machines too since they don't have jobs. This is definitely the annoying thing about Windows. Um, Sal supposedly is working on a Linux version, which uh, hopefully makes this a lot easier. All right, that took quite a while, but every single rig is now on the latest salad version, on the latest NVIDIA drivers, has MSI Afterburner set at 80% for 4090s and 3090s, 85% for my 3080, and 90% uh, for my 3070s. Well, I'm just testing these values, we'll see if they work, and I'm curious to see if they actually lower the power usage or not. Um, other than that though, now they're all searching for jobs, so it's just a matter of time of how quickly can I find jobs. Um, so quickly, I wanna talk about a few things, including that build I'm planning over there. I mentioned that I'm getting uh, four slot boards now, and that's because I have a lot of DDR4 RAM uh, sitting around like 2X 16 gigabyte sticks. So if I get a four slot board, I could get uh, two 32 gig sticks. So 64 plus two 16 sticks is 96. So I've just got a lot more flexibility in terms of how many RAM sticks I can put in these things um, if I get four slot boards. So I'm definitely gonna be doing that in the future. I'll link this one down below. It's only like a hundred bucks. Um, but I'm also looking at getting two X99 boards off of AliExpress. Hopefully this package doesn't get lost because my last one did. But they have very, very cheap CPUs and the RAM is only $35 for a 32 gigabyte stick. Um, so I got basically a ton of those sticks, got two boards and 256 gigs of RAM. So we'll have enough uh, motherboards to build two more 128 gigabyte RAM rigs. I'll probably switch my two 4090s onto those, one of my 3090s onto the 96 gigabytes there and upgrade this one to 96 gigabytes eventually if I can. Um, so a lot of plans there. Let's talk about this build over here. So this is gonna be its own build video. I've got a 4090, already tested it, works great. I've got 64 gigs here. I've got two more of these coming from eBay. So this will be a 128 gigabyte rig on this four slot Asus Prime motherboard. This is the one that I also used on that other rig. Um, and then it will just have a Ryzen 2600 for now because that's what I've got. Gobi smart plug, of course, and then just a cheap uh, Peerless Assassin cooler. So um, very excited for that build. It's gonna be a powerhouse. Also have a couple thousand watt power supplies coming on eBay, um, and that's how I'll power this and any future rigs like those X99 rigs. So I mentioned I've invested a lot into salad um, and I haven't even gotten everything up and running yet, but the last two days I made $19 and $21. So basically like 20 bucks a day. Um, and then today's falling of course, because I lost all my jobs. So it's just a matter of how quickly I get back these jobs. Hopefully it's fast and hopefully I don't lose them again. But it was nice that I was able to get uh, everything updated and uh, onto the newest salad version so I won't have to stop the jobs when I find them. Now, some other things uh, going on up here. I noticed that my Aether Edge had been offline for like, God, it was like two or three weeks. I had it vertical up there and I'm pretty sure it was choking out the fans and making it crash. Uh, so that is now on its side and it's been running just fine. I unplugged both my Bidax Gamma and um, this guy right here. Uh, I forget what that's called, like the Qubit X or something like that. Um, they were both overheating on this top shelf in this July heat. Uh, they'll get turned back on when it's just a bit colder. And everything else up there, we already know that the anyone's turned off. I did also get another D-pin device over here, the Roam. I will be making a video on this um, to see if it's any good or not. I honestly don't know. 
Um, so don't go out and buy it just yet. Let me do some testing and stuff on it first to see if it's good or not. Because a lot of these DPM projects are either total crap or some of the best performers I have. Like uh, that Entropy one kills it. The Aether has killed it. Uh, and then some of the others have not been so great. So that's about it guys. I will continue making salad update videos here, but just wanted to show you kind of some settings changes I'm going to test out. Mainly the data sharing and then the MSI afterburner changes and the changes to four slot uh, motherboard so I can get more RAM on there. So wish me luck, hopefully find jobs quickly and I'll see you guys next time. If you wanna see how, when I built these two salad rigs, check out this video.